Hey guys, welcome back to another TFL Car Live video. This is part two of two of our lift install, the big reveal. So here's what we've done. We've gone ahead and put on the Terraflex Alpine CT3 lift kit, a set of 35 inch Firestone Destination MT2 tires, and of course our rugged ridge wheels. And we'll take a look at the results. Hold on, before you do that, tell them what time you started and how long it took. People are gonna be curious. Well, we started right around 10. Um, it's now about 4.15, so right around 6 hours and 15 minutes. But that was with mounting the tires on the wheels um, and, of course, the TPMS sensors and all that fun stuff. We should talk about the fact that it's a suspension lift. Yeah, so um, in the last video we misspoke. We said it was a body lift, but it is, in fact, of course, a suspension lift. We know the difference, um, and it just looks awesome. I mean, I don't want to leave you in suspense anymore. We'll walk around. Take a look. So, first of all, it really does look cool with these 35 inch tires. That's one of the main reasons um, we did the list. We're here at Devin's car care. Devin's still underneath the Jeep, tightening some stuff up, uh, working on some alignment. You can see our rugged ridge wheels work well with the satin gray Jesse Spade edition 17 inch wheels, which match the paint just really superbly. You can see in there we have our speed bump, bump stops as well, and our fully adjustable Falcon shocks. So let me show you how these Series 3 shocks work. So there's an adjustment right here on the reservoir and there's really three positions plus eight. So the first position is one. This is going to be your softest position for on-road or slow off-road. On the other end of the spectrum is three. This is for kind of sporty driving. It's going to be a lot stiffer. And then in two, it's the individual setting. And in two, we have eight different modes ranging from one to eight. Um, so pretty sophisticated stuff, and they look awesome. They really do look great sitting there underneath. Come take a look at the rear. We did leave our half-inch spacer up front because we have our best top bumpers and our worn winch. This is probably the best view, especially with the best top in its bikini mode. You can see we've got a lot of clearance with this lift and these 35-inch tires still. Um, Michael did point out something really cool with these wheels. These are aluminum forged wheels, and I know I got a lot of heck about that online. Uh, we're going to see how they hold up off-road, but take a look. You can see that the valve, um, tire valve is actually recessed within the wheel, and it lays flat against the side of the rim, which is pretty good if you're off-road. You don't want a rock coming through and tearing that valve off. Coming around back here, we... Why don't you take a walk back and show the whole deep? Yeah. yeah. Michael, go back and tell this thing. you got to show the whole deep so they can see what it looks like. So there it is, in its glory, its lifted glory. Looks really good, Tommy. Yeah, it really does have a really cool stance. It's a sports in gunmetal or granite. The color is called granite officially by Jeep, and it's just a two door. You don't see a lot of two door JKs. Most JKs are the four door unlimited. So seeing one that's been lifted with the gray wheels and the big tires, I think looks awesome. Let's let's just show them show them what the rear looks like here. You should tell me you actually this video will be on car. Yeah, so we've got the full install video and our after, before and after testing video actually on TFL Car coming to you very soon. So this is just the live preview. Um, yep, come back here with me, Michael. Move the cart. It really does look awesome. I think eventually what we're going to do is do a spare tire carrier and mount our fifth Rugged Ridge wheel with a Firestone tire in the back. Um, but we have four currently, and that will certainly work for now. It just looks so great. Just tell them why that was. Well, why don't you tell them? Yeah, all right. I'm, I'm telling people the, the problem is, of course, that this wheel is the old wheel. Uh, it's too small. It really, you can't put this on there because it, they don't match. And if you put one of the big 35s up here, it's going to tear the door off. So the way that people get around that is they get a different bumper uh, that actually has the mount for the big 35 on it. And then swings out so you can open the tailgate. And even this wheel is probably almost too big for the, well, for the, for this because there's so much weight on this, these uh, hinges tend to break. So we really need to find a solution for that. You can do other solutions. You, you obviously don't need a spare tire when you're off roading and a spare wheel, but it's a really good idea to have, especially here in Colorado, where you can go 20 minutes or half hour and be by yourself in the middle of the mountains with nothing but bears and berries. Yeah. 
There was more to this install than just a lift. We did have to lengthen the front brake lines. Um, we did have to move the uh, mounting bracket for the brake lines in the rear. There's just a little drop kit. Maybe you can see them. Come over here, Michael. You can see right here, that's our, our dropping bracket for the, uh, the brake line retainers right there. And the rear shocks are adjustable as well, but they're not done from the top. They're actually done from the bottom. So same thing, there's three positions. Um, with the middle one being fully adjustable to your heart's desire. You can see we've got a new mount uh, back here. We still are using a very similar, well the same rear sway bar with um, a lengthener to adjust for the uh, larger lift. So okay. There are still some issues of course Tommy and those include the fact that since we had to lengthen the brake lines we have to bleed the brakes because uh, Obviously, we put on uh, uh, braided steel cables, mm -hmm. which is actually better than those that came on the Jeep. Uh, we also uh, have to uh, hopefully recalibrate the speedometer. Yeah, but these are just little things. These are not little things. These are little things. These are not little so things. So bleeding the brakes is important, but the speedometer um, is all done through OBD2 now on these Wranglers, which is cool. So if we can do that, that would be awesome. And we'll see if we can do that. And guys, let me show you what we pulled off the Jeep, because if uh, you want it, we'll be glad to give it to the first person who wants it. We pulled off... Uh, a bunch of parts. So uh, here, are, here's all the kind of the suspension. It's got these. This, these are about a year old. They don't have a lot of use on them. But if anybody wants them, uh, just uh, email us at what's the info? Info, info? at tflcar.com. Info at tflcar.com, and you can have them. Just we're not going to ship them. There. It's very heavy. But if you need that part, it maybe for instance you blew a shock out or. You know, you broke one of these, they're yours for the taking. Just uh, email us and then come by the offices and they're all yours. Now, Tommy, what's the most important thing we got to do now? The most important thing. But the, besides calibrating the speedometer, is of course putting on the stickers. I love putting on stickers. All right, let's, let's see if you can do that and keep it straight. Well, I've got two of them. Okay. And Tommy, you wiped this down before before we did this. Yes, we did. Yeah. Unlike the Aztec, it is completely clean. Can you do it on live video with, and get it straight? That is a question. The suspense is killing me. Nice. Look at there. That will most likely be a no. Yeah, look at that. Nailed it. You want the Falcon cool, cool. at the bottom? Yeah, and then we'll do the... uh do the Falcon? There Falcon! Go! Go! <laughs> Is that the sound effect <laughs> of the Falcon? <laughs> Shucks. Riveting TV here watching me put on a sticker. What you're really doing, Tommy, is adding 10 horsepower. Five per sticker, right? Yeah. That's the rule. Yeah. Trying to line up the edge a little bit. Mm -hmm. Tease it. There you go. Now tell me, people may be wondering, why didn't you do this lift yourself? Well, because we've got Devin, of course. We're here at Devin's Car Care in Boulder, Colorado. He's been awesome. Um, you know, I've never done a lift like this, and we really wanted to do it right. We wanted to show you guys how to do it right and properly. Um, and certainly a 20 year old with a wrench and some Harbor Freight jack stands is not going to be the way to do that. So Devin's here, he's got loads of expertise with everything JK. He's been working on Jeeps and cars and all sorts of off-road, on-road vehicles for a very long time. Once again, here at Devin's Car Care in Boulder. Now, I've got a surprise for you, Tommy. Um, I just heard from the fleet manager that we're going to get the uh, current standard Rubicon Oh, cool. Yeah, to compare to this. So uh, besides showing you a before and after video of it actually going off-road, we're going to be able to compare this to the Recon Edition, right, which is a top-of-the-line edition. Right, right. Um, of the Wrangler, of, of the current Wrangler, not the new one. Uh, so be sure to stay tuned for that video because uh, I'm really curious to see just how much more capability you get when you do a lift like this. Uh, let's talk about these tires um, because... They are brand new. We, we went out to Firestone uh, and tested them on a bunch of Jeeps and they just came out. Tell them about the tires. Yeah, so these are the brand new um, 
I don't know if they're out available yet for purchase, but we did get these a little bit uh, ahead of time. These are the Destination MT2s. Um, it's a mud terrain tire. It goes up against directly with like something like a BFG KO. Uh, this is pretty cool. We've got a little bit of siping, if you can show them, Michael, which will help in the snow and the ice. And we've got these little grooves called rejectors. Andre, and that's Andre was super excited about the Andre was the super rejectors. excited about the rejectors. The rejectors, well, they reject rocks is the idea. If there's rocks cut in between um, the lugs, the idea is that when they spin, they'll spit out any stuck hey, rocks. Check, check this out. Look what we got with our Falcon shocks. Isn't that pretty cool? Hand built in West Jordan, Utah by, well, whoever that is. JJS Walter well, thanks, and, and, and be something. So yeah, thank, thank you. You, you did a. Uh, and look, nobody, nobody put like a, nobody put like a little heart on it. So no. these uh. are serious shocks <laughs> <laughs> with a love you and a smiley face. Tommy, people want to know if you're going to upgrade the exhaust system, and we actually we touched the exhaust a little bit today. Or Devin did. Do you want to tell him about that? Yeah, Devin um, had to space out the exhaust a little bit to work with the lift. Uh, I don't think we're going to touch the exhaust system. I don't really see a need to touch the exhaust system. It'll sound better. It, w it will sound better. Um, you know, a lot of the things that people do is like a shorty exhaust system that dumps out the bottom. It gives you more clearance. And actually, when we first bought the Jeep, I did um, put a dent in the rear muffler, broke something free, and then it was rattling like crazy. So that did have to be replaced. Uh, we'll see what we do down the road. This, of course, is the stock drivetrain. Oh, this is a question a lot of you guys had earlier. Uh, now, a Sport S comes from the factory initially with a 321 um, axle ratio. This one has the 373s, which is in between the 321 and the 410s available on the Rubicon. Um, we, we are not going to go to like a 488 or something higher right now at this moment. Uh, I'm actually really curious to see how this is going to drive with the lift and more importantly the 35 inch tires. It, it will be slower, I think that's kind of inevitable. Um, how much slower is it going to be usable on a daily basis? Well that will just have to come to you in a later TFL car video. Yeah, the one where we compare it to the stock one. Yeah, for sure. You well, know we should do a drag race. Well, is that one a manual though? Yeah, I don't know. I'll probably not a manual. No, we never get the manuals, but still, it'd be fun. Yeah, Especially yeah. Especially if it's a lot slower. Right, right. Um, and luckily, it's still not winter here, so we've got a few more months of off-roading where we can actually go and I will play in the dirt and see what... Uh, see if we can get this dirty. You know, a lot of you guys are probably going to be calling me a mall caller right now, but I promise you we are going to get this thing dirty as we have in the past. Michael and I were underneath it earlier, um, taking a look at all the battle scars, and there were quite a few of them. Michael had a laugh of making fun of me there, didn't you, Michael? Well, Tommy, you certainly changed the color from black to like a slight oxidized metal color. So uh, these are the um, actually the original bump stops. They had to be cut off um, for the speed bumps um, in the front, which are a much more effective unit than these kind of plasticky thingies um, that look quite inappropriate as well. So <laughs> let's just see this approach angle on the front of this thing. It's incredible. I'm mean, looking at Devin's feet right now, but the approach angle is... At least Devin's feet. Yeah, look, look at the approach angle. It looks like you can go up, you can go up uh, like a 90 degree wall with this thing. <laughs> if you got the track board. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we're excited to see what these tires are like aired down. There's not a lot of information out there. Um, independent testing on these tires, so that'll be fun yeah, to see. They'll be one of the first people out there to have them. So guys, just want to thank you for... Uh, watching today. It's been a long day for these boys. They just didn't sit here and video. They actually helped out a lot, helped Devin get this done. Well, but uh, Devin is a real hero. Of course, Devin's a real hero. You want, we put you want in to some say, TPMS sensors. Yeah, he did more than that. <laughs> Devin, what's your, what's your uh, website again? People want to check it out. Uh, Devin'sCarCare.com. Devin'sCarCare.com here in Boulder. If you guys are looking uh, to lift a Jeep, uh, Devin has a world of experience in doing it. And uh, yeah, it's exciting to see this thing. It looks... Uh, it looks much better now. Yeah, I was a little hesitant to lift it. I was worried about the cabbage cart ride like I had in the YJ. But hopefully, it will be all sorted. That's coming up in the install video. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Remember, check out tflcar.com for more news, views, and real world reviews. And Tommy, when are you going to take this thing off road? When are we going to get this video, you know, the install video? When can people, you think, come and watch it? Well, I'm hopefully it will be done within the week, yeah. is what I'm hoping for. It's a lot for. of editing. You got to shot a lot. Yeah, we, we did shoot a ton. Um, but this is a, a big and exciting video for us. So we're going to get this out as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, guys. Michael, give one more look at the Jeep. It's really badass.